TMG fam, it's your boy Ellen. I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. Listen, man. Uh, before we get into the video, the video we're checking out today, by the way, is the 10 most, the 10 things most humans can't do. All right. We're gonna get into that video, man. But real quick, bro, I gotta stop in the beginning and say rest in peace to Tiny, aka Debo. Friday was was very, very vital part of my life growing up. That movie, I don't know how many times I watched those movies, bro. Quoted Debo. We still, me and my homeboys, we still quote Debo to this day. Like, the sound of that beach cruiser pulling up to Craig's house will forever be embedded in my brain. Like, him standing there, his, his tone, his delivery, his sound, his look, like he will never, ever be duplicated, bro. Nobody can replace Debo, man. I don't even know how they go on with another Friday series because, you know, Cube had been, it had been talks of him, you know, floating around doing another one. And I know on the last ones, he wasn't in there, but Eventually, y'all knew Debo was going to come back to one of those Fridays. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's really not officially a Friday without Debo. You know what I mean? But again, rest in peace. Condolences to his family. This is a huge loss for, for us, man. Huge, huge loss. But uh, we're going to get into this next video, man. So come in and sit down, relax, keep your feet up, close the door, and subscribe. Let's check it out. Top 15 things most humans can't do. Ah, the human body. It's just so interesting and equally disgusting with all the organs in it. However, despite the gross squishy stuff inside of us, it can do some interesting things. It can curve, concave, stretch, and bend. Although most people can easily touch their toes, do a flip, or do the splits, there are some things most people can't even imagine doing. Few people around the world can do these weird, unthinkable things, and that's why today on Top 5 Best, we're going over the top 15 things most people can't do. Let's begin, shall we? We are currently giving away, and I entered into this gift with our favorite subscribe button, notified into our eyebrow. In order to get a point across to another person, most people use facial expressions. Some people use their fists, but most people use facial expressions. In fact, please use your facial expressions. These facial expressions range from smiling to simply raising one's eyebrows. Although this may sound simple, most people can't raise one eyebrow by itself. Now you may be thinking to yourself, yes I can, but as some of you may be trying now, you can't. People call the raising of the one eyebrow the eyebrow cock. The raising of one eyebrow is the universal symbol of skepticism. It's like some saying, oh really? Although you're watching this video right now, you're still trying- Tell me I can't do it. Yeah, I am totally not listening to him. I'm doing it though. I'm doing it though. Can y'all- Yeah, I'm- <laughs> Get off me, man. I can do that. Trying to raise your one eyebrow, aren't you? There is a way to learn how to raise one brow. You simply start by keeping one eyebrow down with one hand and holding one up with the other. Keep practicing this in the mirror so you can detect the correct muscle movement to obtain one eyebrow up. Number 14, Gleeking. Although this next ability may sound disgusting, there's only a few people who- uh, uh, All right, all right. Yes, we used to do this in school. No, we didn't know how disgusting it would be. Like now I, of course I know now how disgusting it is, but yes, we used to do this. Gleeking, yes. Uh, and and we would do it on each, like, uh, like on each other. Uh. Somebody do that to me now, man, we fighting, bro. Like hands are being thrown. Like try Jesus, J please don't try me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I throw hands, but yeah, yeah. This seems disgusting now, but yes, as kids, we did this. I'm ashamed to say it, but we did it. At least I'm honest, but I'm ashamed to say we did it. You can actually gleek. Gleeking is also known as gleeting, or gleeking is like spitting, but it is not quite exactly like spitting. This term gleeking means projecting saliva from the... Did he have to give us the close-up, though? Ah, oh, 
it just makes me feel even worse. Submandular gland upon compression of the tongue. Basically, the saliva simply shoots out from underneath the tongue with the help of the salivary glands. Just think of it as being able to control how much your mouth produces and releases saliva. The majority of the time, gleeking is involuntary, but there is a way to learn how to gleek with just a little research. Man, you become like a saliva version of the Dilophosaur from Jurassic Park. <laughs> Number 13, lick your elbow. Many people can easily bend their arm or elbow. Most people can also stick their tongue out, but most people can't do them together. That's why the next up on our list of weird, funky things most people can't do is lick their elbow. Although this may sound easy, that is not the case. She's a freak. I can't do it. I can't. Nope, I can't do it. Nope. She's she's talented. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it right there. She's mad talented. Case. It's just about impossible for most people to lick their elbows. Try it now. Make sure you're alone though, or you may look like a complete idiot. Yeah. That's because this is a rare ability that only a few people spread throughout the world can actually do. It's obviously not so impossible for some people. Supposedly, Guinness World Records gets about five claims a day from people who think that they're special just because they can lick their elbows. <laughs> Number 12, twitch your nose. For this next weird ability, we head back up into the face area, smack dab in the middle, right to the nose. Nose twitching became noticeable was when Bewitch star Samantha Stevens began to twitch her nose during film. I can't do it. Without moving my... I can't do it. No! None of the muscles work in my face. Coming. <laughs> Her nose switch became a sort of trademark for Bewitched. Nose switching can also be involuntary and can be symptoms of a serious medical condition. Some people have trouble flaring their nostrils for the same reason. However, as with several items on this list, it's something that can be learned. Worth doing, too, as it's a pretty endearing little trick. Maybe people will compare you to a cute- Now, flaring your nostrils, that's different, but I can't twitch it at all. A little rabbit or some other creature. Number 11, wiggling your ears. When most people think of wiggling a body part, they think toes or fingers and even your butt. Well, you would never think of wiggling your ears now, would you? Your cats can do it and so can the hippo and Jeff Goldblum. But only a few other people in the world can wiggle their ears. Although you can train yourself to wiggle your ears by simply isolating your ear wiggling muscle. You may be able to wiggle your ears, but it won't be that impressive if you have to raise your eyebrows or look awfully surprised every time. You may not be able to move your ears without moving your scalp, but you should be able to learn to move without moving your eyebrows. Can't do it. Practice wiggling your ears without moving any other parts of your face. It's a lot harder than it seems. Number 10. I've never tried to do any of this stuff and I'm feeling flat on my face right now. I can't do the nose, the ears, none of that stuff. Sneeze with your eyes open. When you sneeze, you immediately clench your eyes shut and cover your nose and mouth. Well, what if that's not the case for everybody? Some people when sneezing can keep their eyes wide open. Now most of you are thinking, if you did force open your eyes, would your eyeballs pop out when you sneeze? Oh. Well, the answer is no. Your eyes are actually quite secure and your eye sockets aren't connected to your nose at all. So although a sneeze can erupt from your nose in an explosive 200 miles per hour, it can transfer this pressure into your eye sockets to dethrone your eyeballs. How do people figure out? What is you got way too much time on your hands if you just sit around and figure out things like this to do. I never even thought about sneezing and my eyes being open or closed. Who cares? But now it's going to be on my mind now. Thanks a lot for giving putting something else on my plate that I'm going to see can I do. I'm definitely going to try that next. Boogers all over, Queen, when I try to do it. Watch. So, yes, there are a few people who can do this. So if you are one of those people, let's hope your eyes stay in their socket. Number nine, putting your fist in your mouth. When people think of things going in their mouth, they think food, but definitely not your fist. The majority of the population can only get half or barely a quarter of their fist into their mouths. Seriously, they've done studies on this stuff. Not even close. Successfully fitting your entire fist in your mouth usually requires both a large mouth and small hands. Although the steps for putting your fist in your mouth are easy enough. Number one, make a fist. Two, insert into mouth. Most people can't do it. Majority of the people who can do this are women, and the other few men who are able to do it either have small hands or big mouths, or maybe even both. Number eight. Shout outs to all the ladies that can do this. That's all I'm saying. I, I'm just leaving it. <laughs> I'm leaving it at that, y'all sicko-minded people. 
I just said shout out all the ladies that can do it. That's all. Eight. Running at number six while moving your foot clockwise. Okay, even I have to admit this one is definitely a weird entry. The first thing most people were taught when learning multitasking is pat your head and rub your stomach at the same time. Making the multitasking of patting your head and rubbing your stomach even harder was to do each part in opposite directions. Nowadays, when people do fun little multitasking actions, they are completely more complex. The multitasking that people are doing today is riding a six and moving your leg clockwise at the same time. It sounds simple, but will completely trick your mind while trying to do this. It might take a while, but you are able to learn how to do this after some practice. Wow. Number seven, touch your nose with your tongue. Most people can't touch the tip of their nose with their tongue. In medicine, the ability to touch the tip of your nose with your tongue is known as a Gorlin sign. Approximately 10% of the population can actually perform this act. The ability to do this is actually a genetic trait, although there has been a few cases of people actually learning to touch their nose with their tongue. The only reason this small 10% of people can actually do this is due to the extreme lengths of their tongues. Their long tongues give them the ability to reach their nose. Number 6. Touching your chin with your tongue. Ah, not the tongue thing. When someone licks their tongue out, they usually do it to tease someone, or maybe it's a game. But some special people can actually touch their chin with their tongue. Just like the previous weird body ability, this ability to touch your chin with your tongue also requires a lengthy tongue. This actually- This is where I wish, like, YouTube had the ability to let, like, pictures go in the comment section. Because y'all get to see me trying to figure this stuff out. But I know sitting right there at, in your house watching this video, y'all are trying to do it too. And I would love to see y'all look just as dumb as me trying to do this stuff. And some of y'all are successful, so y'all not. But some of y'all look just like me, unable to do any of this stuff. I ain't even try to tongue to chin. I, it, I already know that's just not gonna work. And then I'm not trying to lick my beard. Became infamous from Gene Simmons from Kiss. At his concerts, the celebrity would stick out his tongue and go completely wild with it, making it a huge trend back in the day. If you had a lengthy tongue, maybe you could touch your chin or your nose with your tongue. Who knows? Eh? Eh? Okay, I'll go away. Number five, tongue tricks. My god, there's a lot of tongue stuff in this. While we're still on the subject of tongues, what is that with people and then tongues? There are a few tricks that most people can't do. Can you split or roll your tongue, perform a reverse T, flip your tongue 180 degrees, or make shapes like a spaceship or a clover leaf? Between 65 and 81 percent of people on Earth have this strange and seemingly arbitrary talent. Tongue tricks are debated on being genetic, but arguably others don't think so. Although a really pointless skill to have, it does make for some great party tricks. Number four. Did he say it makes for some great party tricks? My bad. Let me put this on silent. Did he say what are you doing? What are you doing with your tongue at a party other than getting locked in a room with a dude somewhere? Other than that, that's it. Double jointed. Double jointedness, also known as hypermobility. I used to be like amazed at people who were double jointed and can do different things. Like, I don't know. I just had a fascination just watching people who were like, how can you do that and just see people do different things double jump and then it make me cringe at the same time but i couldn't look away from it though you know what i'm saying that, that fascination was just weird really is when the joints stretch out further than normal some hypermobile people can bend their thumb backwards to their wrist oh. bend their knee joints backwards put their legs behind their head and perform other contortionist tricks double jointness is actually more common than you may think around 10 to 25 percent of the population is double jointed Although many may be double jointed, some people who are double jointed can't do all the bending and twisting. That's insane. Do y'all see that? That looks like the thing off of Adam's family, bro. Like, look at how, ah. Uh. Certain body parts that others may be able to do. It can be even something so little as being able to move some fingers farther than regular people. Number three, eating a spoonful of cinnamon. Originally, Nobody can. Uh, I would love to see somebody do that, bro. It's 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 physically like impossible. Now, I'm not saying that nobody can do it, but it's only a slim few people in the world who could do it. Known as the cinnamon challenge, this next trick sounds simple, but can get pretty spicy. It's simply eating a spoonful of cinnamon. Round cinnamon may be a tasty baking addition, but it's impossible to eat on its own for most people. We don't suggest trying this at home. When eating cinnamon, the cinnamon can coat and dry the mouth and throat, resulting in coughing, gagging, vomiting, and inhaling cinnamon itself can lead to throat irritation, breathing difficulties, and risk of pneumonia or a collapsed lung. 
Although this is dangerous, many people are successful in eating a full spoon of cinnamon. It's weird to see such a What was her name, bro? <laughs> she did like several different things, fam. And she used to just, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was crazy with it. She was like, did she do the pocket chip challenge? I gotta, y'all gotta remind me, bro. I need to order some of those. I need to do that when I go upstairs. That way, when people come to your house for like Christmas, that's gonna be one of the things I get people to do for Christmas this year, the Pocky Challenge. I'm not doing it, but I'm gonna get people to do it. Strange and dangerous thing lead to what used to be such a massive and popular trend on the internet. Number two, tickling yourself. We all have ticklish spots that friends and loved ones love to zero in on. Being tickled makes us laugh, squirm, and sometimes even more. And if you're anything like normal people, it makes you reflexively punch and kick anyone within reach. On paper, it might sound easy to do, but in practice, it's near impossible to genuinely tickle yourself to the point of laughter. This is because you will always brace for the touch. The mind immediately goes into defense mode and your body doesn't react the same way as if someone else was actually in genuinely tickling you. Unless there is a disconnect between you and your subconscious mind, your touch will always be anticipated. Number one, putting your foot behind your head. Finally and lastly on our list of weird things the human body can do is the ability to place your feet behind your head. In order to I used to be fat. This is before Queen. Well, I used to, girl put her foot behind her head, boy. Woo-wee! I was excited. <laughs> How Kevin Hart say, so excited. <laughs> so excited. In order to put your foot behind your head, it requires extreme flexibility. Simply placing both legs behind one's head may come and sound easy to some gymnasts or to wow. Sheen Estevez from Jimmy Neutron, but to an average Joe, this task would be completely impossible. Wow. Even if you were to practice and stretch every single day, this does not guarantee that you will be able to do this because it really all depends on the body. Fellas are cringing right now, but yet they're intrigued because it's a woman doing it. You know what I'm saying? So it's 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 twofold for fellas, bro. Be tight. Well, that's our video for today. Can you do any of these weird and wonky things? Well, that is our video for today. Can you do any of these weird and wonky things? Do you have any suggestions that didn't make the list? That's crazy. They took us back to, to took me back to school with the whole gleek or gleeding or however you say it, man. Just, just, I hadn't thought about that since school. Bro, that was, that's just seemed like nowadays, me and my homeboy was talking earlier about things that we did as kids that we would never do today. You know what I'm saying? Because it are either fears or, or different things but back when we didn't have fear. And uh, that's another one I got to bring up, glee, gleeting. Ah, that was disgusting. But we did it though, bro. You chase people around trying to do it, man, till, <laughs> till you need to go get the, go hit the water fountain and then re-up, get your mouth back wet, and then start again. Sitting in class, you'd be doing it. Somebody had it back to you, you'd be doing it. Oh, man, we were disgusting, bro. Sick, 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 sick. Listen, man, y'all get up, get, uh, get at me in the comments. If I can't speak today, hold on. Hey, I got a dry mouth. That's what it is. Y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think, man. Leave a like, share the video, subscribe. Run the lights up, all right? And until uh, the next reaction of my piece, y'all stay solid. Hey.